is rule with five ordinates to find an approximate value for the integral 0 to 3 log of 8 plus e to the x dx. Show the working and give your answers correct to two decimal places. So five ordinates means that we have n st uh, four strips, so five ordinates is always one less strip than ordinates, so four strips, so that means n is equal to four, and so calculating h, b is three, a is zero, over four, so we get h is 0 0.7, Five. Now you'll notice I did include Simpson's rule here. I've just lifted this straight from the formula booklet. You of course don't need to learn it off by heart, so I've just included it in here to refer to. So what I want to know at this point is I want to actually find the values of my ordinates. So we're going to have x n down the side, so we start at zero, we're going to have 0 0.75. 1.5, 2.25, and 3. So I'm just trying to draw a table as neat as possible. And so down the left hand column, my ordinates, we then have my y values. So when I put in 0 and I calculate 0, I'm working to two decimal places, so I need to have at least three, absolute minimum three, but as many as I can write out that is sensible. So I'm actually going to work to four decimal places here, 2.1972. Then 2.3, if I do 0 0.75 into the equation, I get 2.3142. If I then put 1.5 in, I get 2.5243. And then if I put in x equals 2.5, I get 2.8615. And finally, if I put in x equals 3, I get 3.3353. Now the best way to approach this is to learn to use your calculator so you can store each of these values into your calculator, here the yn values, and then recall them in the formula. Okay, so this is y0, this is y1, this is y2, this is y3, and this is y4. So to help me organise myself when I actually come to using the Simpsons rule, what I do is I write out i equals i for the integral, it's equal to one third h, so I get 0 0.75 over 3. Make sure you show the substitution, don't do any sort of partial workings out in the first step, the method marks are given for actually showing the substitution into the formula. Uh, so as I said, Sorry, I'm skipping ahead of myself actually. Working algebraically, first of all, to organize myself, I get h over 3, I get y0 plus the highest y is y4, so n is 4, plus 4 lots of y1 plus y3, so they're my odd ordinates, and then plus 2 lots of my even ordinates that haven't already been used, so that's 2y2. And that's the Simpsons rule as I'm going to use it for this question. So I get 0 0.75 over 3 times 2.1972 plus y4, which is 3.3355. Oops, not sure why I put a decimal point there. 3353 plus four lots of my even terms. So here are my, sorry, my odd terms. So here are my odd terms. So I get 2.3142 plus 2.8615. Finally, plus two lots of my even term that hasn't already been used. So 
two, four, three. Close my small bracket and call, close my big curly bracket. So method marks are given for this step here. So you get your marks for your table and your H. Method marks are given for showing the substitution. At that point, it is a perfectly acceptable then just to write and go straight to an answer because you don't get any more marks. And so when I evaluate this, I get an answer of 7.82 correct to two decimal places as the question asks. So how do you get your marks here? Well, let's just create a little bit of space for me here. First of all, there are two standalone marks, B2, for getting all three values correct. If you get uh, a minimum of three values correct, you can have one mark. You then get a method mark here. If you get the formula correct with the H value here, 0.75 correct, and then you get your accuracy or answer mark just for stepping here. So the mark is actually for demonstrating the correct use of formula. Don't do partial calculations because we want to see how you've substituted it in. Part B says, use your answer to part A to deduce an approximate value for the integral 0 to 3 log of 16 plus 2e to the x. Well, the thing to notice here is that 0 to 3 log 16e to 2x is the same as log of 2 times 8 plus e to the x dx. Now, using my laws of logs, I can rewrite this as the integral of log 2 plus, so this is from 0 to 3, log 8 plus e to the x. So this is standard laws of logs from C2, and this will come up in C3 that you need to remember using these laws of logs, dx. Now actually, I split this into two integrals, so I've got the integral of log 2 between 0 and 3, dx plus the integral 0 to 3 log of 8 plus e to the x dx. Now I've already got the value of the second integral here. I've just evaluated that as 7.82. So what I need to do is I need to evaluate this first integral. Remember that log 2 is simply a constant. Type it into your calculator. If you type in log 2 on your calculator, you get a value of 0.69 or 0.7. So essentially I'm integrating 0.7. Now we wouldn't write 0.7, I'd still leave it as log 2 dx. So what that means is integrating this with respect to x, I get x, and I'm just going to write it as a coefficient, times log 2 between 0 and 3. Because this is a constant, any constant integrates to x times that constant. So then when I evaluate this, I get 3 log 2 minus 0 log 2. So I get an answer of 3 log 2, which you can give as 2.08. Our previous answer was to two decimal places, so let's give this answer here as two decimal places as well. So then we can approximate the integral of log 16 plus 2e to the x dx as 2.08 plus the value of the integral that I worked out before, so this here, so that's plus the 7.82. And this will become out equal to 9.9 zero correct to two decimal places. Okay, so how are method how are marks awarded in this question? Well if you split up at some point into these separate integrals you get a method mark and then if you finally get to this answer of 9.90 you get an accuracy or answer mark. Okay, I hope my solution made sense and that you understood my explanation.